CBSE and CRD solutions chapter number 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.3 problem number 1 the problem is find the sum of the following APs we have four parts in this problem and the very first part is 2 7 here 12 up to 10 terms so we are given one AP here one arithmetic progression and we want to find sum up to its 10 terms so we have a formula here which we use to find sum of n terms of any AP and it's equal to s equal to n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 times d so we have here sum equal to n by 2 times 2 a plus n minus 1 times d where d is the common difference a is its first term and n is the number of terms present in the AP or number of terms up to which we want to find sum for example we have we want to find here sum up to 10 terms so we will put here n equal to 10 okay now here we have first term of this AP equal to 2 common difference is equal to D and it's equal to 7 minus 2 equal to 5 and now I just need to put the values in this formula so I'll get here sum equal to s equal to n and here we have is equal to 10 because we want to find sum up to 10 terms so n equal to 10 here 2 times a and a is 2 plus n minus 1 times d n is again 10 here minus 1 times common difference is 5 here so I get here 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 2 times 2 is 4 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 5 it's equal to 5 4 plus 45 equal to 5 times 49 and it's equal to 45 so I get here sum of n terms of AP of this AP sum of 10 terms of this AP is equal to 45 now going to the second part the AP given is minus 37 minus 33 minus 29 up to 12 terms so I have here n equal to 12 because we want to find sum up, sum up to 12 terms and first term is equal to minus 37 and common difference is equal to minus 33 minus minus 37 I am subtracting this term from this term so I will get here minus 33 plus 37 equal to 4 here now using the formula to find sum of n terms of AP I'll get s equal to n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d so n is 12 here and 2 times first term is minus 37 and n again is 12 minus 1 times common difference is 4 so I get here 12 divided by 2 which is 6 and minus 37 times 2 is minus 74 plus 11 times 4 here and it's equal to 6 times minus 74 plus 44 here and it's equal to 6 times minus 30 equal to minus 180 so this is the sum of first 12 terms of this arithmetic progression now moving to the part number 3 and we will apply the same process here Arithmetic progression which is given is 0 0.6, 1.7, up to 100 terms. So I have here n equal to 100 because we want to find sum up to 100 terms. And 0 0.6 is the first term. And common difference. is equal to 1.7 minus 0 0.6 and it's equal to 1.1 and using the using the same formula which we use to find the sum of n terms of AP I get here n by 2 I'll just put the values of n a and d again n is equal to 100 divided by 2 and 2 times a a is 0 0.6 plus n again is 100 minus 1 times D. D is the common difference. It's 1.1 here. So it's equal to 100 divided by 2. 2 times 0 0.6 is 1.2 plus 99 times 1.1. 1 
so I get here 100 divided by 2 is 50 here and 1.2 plus 99 times 1.1 so I get here 9999 and 108.9 and 108.9 plus 1.2 is 110.1 and 110.1 times 50 is equal to 5505 so this is the sum of first 100 terms of this arithmetic progression now going through the last part of this problem number 1 I have here sequence 1 divided by 15 1 divided by 12 1 divided by 10 up to 11 terms so I have here n equal to 11 because we want to find sum up to 11 terms of this AP and first term is equal to 1 divided by 15 and common difference is equal to D equal to 1 divided by 12 minus 1 divided by 15 and LCM of this 12 and 15 is equal to 60 and I'll get here 5 at the top minus 4 so, uh, so common difference is equal to 1 divided by 60. So now using the same formula that we used to find sum of n terms of AP. I can put n equal to 11 because value of n is 11. And 2 times A. First term is 1 divided by 15 and n minus 1 is n is 11 minus 1 times common difference d is 60 here so I have here 11 divided by 2 2 divided by 15 plus 10 divided by 60 here which is equal to 11 divided by 2 2 divided by 15 plus 1 divided by 6 now I can take the LCM here again and LCM of 15 and 6 is 30 here and I'll get 4 at the top and 5 at the top and it will be 11 divided by 2 times 9 divided by 30 now I can cancel the term here for example this 9 can be cancelled with 3 I'll get 3 here and I'll get 10 here so I'll get the answer here 33 divided by 20 so this is the sum of first 11 terms of this given arithmetic progression so that's about problem number 1 in the next video I'll be covering Chapter 5, Arithmetic Progressions, Exercise 5.3, Problem number 2. See you guys.